We'd like to welcome everyone to our 2020-2021 uh, parent orientation. This is an exciting time. Usually, I'm standing up there at the pulpit and uh, we have everyone in the auditorium, but today it's just me. And so uh, we miss you. We look forward to the start of the school year. And uh, we just wanted to take this time to go over a few things uh, that will help us uh, in this area of, of the restart of school. And so we've sent things out, but I wanted just to talk with you a little bit before our, uh, our, our students come in and parents come into the open house on Friday. So first of all, we just wanna let you know that, that uh, more important than anything we do this year is really the verse that we have as our theme. And again, we're continuing that, Ecclesiastes 4.12, and a threefold cord is not quickly broken the home, the church, and the school. And we're gonna to have to work hard this year together. And I want you to say, first of all, thank you parents for the hard work that you did while we were out of school. And now we're coming back and we're still gonna to have to work together. And it is important that we uh, all get behind our students and help them with their education. So we're gonna do, I'm just gonna go over a few things very quickly, talk about some of the protocols that we're doing and some of the safety issues. And I know that uh, you, you're, you're very interested in those things, but uh, I want to let you know. First of all, we're gonna do temperature checks uh, for our students uh, as they come in the building. In the elementary, we're going to uh, try to take those temperatures as they're just getting out of the car and let you know the temperature needs to be 99.9. .9. Anything higher than that, then we would ask, of course, that uh, they do not come to school. Uh, also, our third through the 12th graders are going to wear masks into the building, in the hallways, anytime there's a, a group uh, together. But when they come in the classroom, they can take those masks off because of the social distancing. Our second through uh, kindergarten through second grade will not be wearing masks this year. Uh, our teachers will have masks in the hallway. Uh, other uh, church staff will be wearing masks. And so we're doing our very best to try to protect our young people. One thing also that we're asking for parents, parents, as you come in, we ask that you wear a mask into the building. Uh, we're asking that of, of anyone else coming in to wear a mask and it's for the protection of our young people. Uh, also, drinking fountains will not be available. We will have water bottle fillers. And so we ask that each young person brings a water bottle. Uh, also, uh, that your homeroom teacher will get with you and give you a little bit more de uh, uh, instruction on that. Uh, uh, we're asking also uh, at sporting events, indoor sporting events, we're asking parents to wear masks and uh, visitors to wear masks to those games. Um, we also have a waiver that will be on our website and uh, we'll ask you to, to look at that, sign that. Uh, we need that done by the first day of school, which is uh, Monday the 17th. Um, we also could use some of our uh, parents. We need your help this year. Uh, more than any other year, we need your help. Uh, all the extra things we're doing, the temperature checks, uh, some things at the, in the cafeteria, we need your help. So if you could help us in those areas and you say you could volunteer, I need uh, uh, three parents to help me in the mornings from 7.30 to 8 uh, 15 and help me with uh, the temperature checks and also uh, the screening of the young people and then during lunchtime uh, you know just simple things like getting silverware silverware out of the out of the containers students can't do that now and so we need a parent that would be wearing gloves and masks to help students with that help clean the tables and that would be a great blessing and a help to us so if you can volunteer we need your help and then we also have some paid uh, positions available. Uh, we need some late stay folks uh, from three to six. If you're interested in that, please contact the office and, uh, and, and that would also be an opportunity for you to, to work and uh, there is uh, pay available there. And then something different this year, our handbook that we always have, uh, we're not gonna make hard copies this year. We are actually going to have, uh, have our handbook online. And so that will be available for you to get. Uh, you want uh, to, to look at that at our website, get that. That is really has all the nuts and bolts of our school. And so you want to make sure you get that, read it, uh, go through it. Uh, it. It will answer a lot of questions for you. And uh, so it, go online, get the handbook, uh, and uh, that'll be a great help to all of us. Uh, now, as far as drop off and pick up in the mornings, we'll do it the same way we've always done. The elementary, 
if you come in before uh, 7, 7 uh, 45, we'll drop off early stays in the cafeteria. So you drop off right there at the, at the courtyard. They walk in uh, the doors to the little gym and into the cafeteria. 7.45, you drop off at the front of the elementary building, and that's where they'll have their, their temperature check there. They also have temperature check in morning care. High school, right over here uh, in front of the high school building, you'll drop off at 7.45. If not, they'll be going into the cafeteria. And uh, now, what we're doing just a little bit different with uh, dismissal. Uh, dismissal for elementary is at uh, 3 o'clock, and we'll do the same traffic pattern. We'll be out here to help you, but we'll go out turn into the high school parking lot, go right, go clear up to the church, come back down, and then you'll go into the uh, elementary parking lot there and pick up in front of the elementary. Uh, the high school, uh, you will come up and s follow the same pattern, but you will turn right here at the first high school park uh, driveway and go in front of the uh, high school to pick up. Now, the times are a little different. Elementary is at, uh, is at 3 o'clock dismissal. Middle school is going to be 3.05, and that will help us with some congestion, and they'll be picked up right here. Middle school and high school students will not go to the elementary building this year at all for, for pickup. So you'll need to pick up right over here. And then 3.10, the high school will be dismissed. So that will give us a little bit of spread time there, help us a little bit with that, and uh, work with our social, social distancing. Uh, now, as far as cleaning, uh, our buildings, those of you that know us, our buildings are very clean. Uh, our maintenance staff does a great job. We're going to continue doing what we're doing, but we're adding to it. Uh, so things will be disinfected. Uh, we have uh, folks that come in every night, disinfect the whole property. Everything will be disinfected. Uh, at lunch, uh, between the breaks, we will disinfect the tables. Uh, teachers will disinfect their rooms every night. We have hand sanitizers in every classroom uh, for students to use. We will be disinfecting the playground after every use. And so we're going to do our very best to make sure that your children are safe. Uh, and as you, as you saw, our plan, return to school plan, it was something that we said we wanted to be reasonable. And so what we're trying to do is be reasonable and safe. Uh, I've told this to a lot of folks that uh, 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 sometimes we can allow fear to take over, and we don't want fear to take over at this point. We've got to be reasonable in what we're doing. Um, we could go out today on the highway and be in a terrible accident. We could lose our life, but I will continue to drive because I understand I don't want to live in fear of that, but I am going to be reasonable. I'm not going to go 150 miles an hour out on Industrial Boulevard. I'm not going to text and drive. There are some things I'm not going to do. And so we want to be, have that same reasonable response to what we do here at the school. Uh, and so we want the safety of your children to, to, to play. Uh, we're very concerned about that. I have grandchildren in the school. I have a child in the school. Uh, and so your children, I, I, and I tell you this also, I will treat your children like I treat mine. Uh, we love your kids and we want them to be safe. Uh, but again, we do want to be reasonable with it. So we need your help. We need your help. I need volunteers. Uh, listen, if you come in and you forget your mask, we've got some masks for you. We, we can help you with that. Uh, please, uh, I understand there's all different views. There are a lot of different views. Uh, but this, these are the guidelines that we've set down. So I just need you to help us with that. I know you will. And we appreciate you. We love you. We look forward to uh, open house on Friday. Open house will be from 1 o'clock until 7. So you can come in anytime, bring your children. We ask that uh, third on up wear a mask. We ask that all parents wear a mask on that day uh, because there'll be a lot of folks in and out. Um, come in, see your teacher, meet the teacher. Now, that there's not going to be a long time. You're not going to go in and have a long conversation, but they also are going to do a little video, a little informational. They'll send that out, and they'll give you a lot of the classroom uh, details at that time. So. Let's help us a little bit. We're all going to have to, it, it, I tell the teachers, it's fluid. Things are going to be a little fluid. And uh, so what we think is going to happen may change a little bit. But uh, we're planning to have school. We're looking forward to seeing your young people. It is, uh, it, is a, it is a privilege to work with you and your young people. And we look forward to Monday uh, getting everybody back in. It's been a long five months. I know it's been a long five months for you. But uh, we look forward to seeing what God has for us this year.
pray for us. Pray, number one, for the safety uh, of all involved, for the students, for the teachers. Uh, pray for other families. Uh, and pray for safety. And then number two, pray that God would do something great spiritually in the lives of our students this year. This is a great opportunity to see God do a great work. Uh, when you go through a difficult times, many times on the other side of that, uh, you see a great revival take place. So we're looking forward to that. Pray for our country and all the things going on at this time and all the decisions that need to be made. And uh, uh, pray for our state and county officials. Uh, so many people have to make decisions, very difficult. And then pray for, if you would, pray for me and the administration. Uh, again, there are a lot of decisions that need, and we wanna make the right ones. So pray for us that we make the right decisions and that we will have a great year. When we get to the end of the year, uh, we'll look back and see what God has done and uh, we'll give him the praise and glory for it. So we look forward to seeing you on Friday.